Obasanjo GEG tried to unsettle him. They could not. Kolade Oti told you on Tunumbo's political sagacity. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. On this Jagaban issue, every four years, people come on social media to yell and castigate the man over his political decisions. There are over 18 million people in Lagos, over 1,000 politicians, yet they cannot unsettle him. Is this his fault? Are you expecting him to raise his legs and say, Hi guys, come and screw me over? He left the AD, formed the AC, then the ACN. After any Ferrer and the passenger could not unseat him. He lost two deputy governors, Kofu Bokno and Femi Pedro to the opposition party, lost to Banikoro, a man he single-handedly made a senator to PDP. He lost Jimmy Agbaji, a close ally, also to the PDP. They tried to unseat him, but they failed. Obasanjo and good luck, Ebele Jonathan, they tried. They did not succeed. Lagos State had the Minister for Works, Ogun Lewe, PDP BOT Chairman Modi George, Minister for Defense, Obani Koro, Olusegun Aganga, Trade and Investment. But while this notable man goes to bed at night, Jagaban stays away scheming and planning his next move at Bordelon. Rallying the grassroots, then he comes with either the stick or the carrot. Obani Roy, his sworn enemy, is back. Pedro is back. Salvador, former PDP chairman, is back to his camp. He did not put a gun to anybody's head to wine and dine with him. Why can't the former analyze to finish him up? We have a choice not to associate with them. With him, don't we? He has successfully built a battalion of loyalists from 1999 to date. From Fashala to the councillor in the smallest ward in Lagos. Fashala, Osibanjo, Fowler, Lai Mohammed, Ben Akabeze, Ojudu, Adik Baye, Rauf Aragbeshara, Hamzat, G.O.S. Gwajabjamila, Faleke, Yayi Ashafa, Opaifa, Tunji Bello, Leke Piton, J. Idris, Dili Alake, Mamora, and a whole lot of other young, brilliant minds. For every one person he empowered, they got thousands more in return. He identified the best and uses them to his advantage. Can Bode George Ogunlo roll out a list comparable to Tenebo's list? Why haven't they been able to create a formidable opposition to kick him out? They had a federal match for 16 years to their advantage. To be honest, is it at fault? What do you expect him to do? Fall under his duty at Bodelo or watch African magic? Why can't other politicians form a consensus? He is a lion of Bodelon, and when he roars, his lioness and cops will respond. Unless a stronger pride emerges, he will continue to rule this jungle. It is the law of nature. Sentiments do not matter. His urges came in for 2023, four years ahead of these Dosa politicians. Meanwhile, there is serum to challenge him. Please go ahead and vote against his, administ his aspiration if you feel aggrieved. Eh, no wahala. I am not going to stand up and Tunumbu is a very, very strategic politician. In fact, he is the master of the game. Yes. He's somebody when you sit at the table to play politics with him. You will fail. No matter how smart you think you are. Give it to him. But me, <laughs> it does not now mean that he's doing it right. But you know what the word says, the end justifies the men. So any means when you we use use dua. You, you let me say they okay. Meanwhile, it is not supposed to be that way. This 2023 election, people coming out to say to number one, I'm asking how. We know that something like this will happen. We actually know. But not in this manner. Look, had it been this election was business as usual, uh -uh, we can come outside and say to number one. People will not even fight. People will see the next day, people will move on with their life. People are not going to listen to anybody. But this particular election, something different happened. People become awakened, thirsty to live again. Not just to live, but live in abundance. You can't be like, say, the scripture of. I came to die so that you may have life and have it in abundance. You can't bless another time they preach. You can't bless say in the Holy Book, another time they minister that particular gospel. A lot of people are like, no, 
It's not going to be business as usual. A lot of people came out, they did a lot of things. For the very first time, Nigeria became politically awakened. The political atmosphere charged. Yes, he brought in his schemes. But hmm, he used it and used it and used it at a point. We saw the video go around. That the power is not given, it is taken. Not just taken, snatch this power. Run with it. Take it. You know? And to me, that is sounding desperate. That is giving chalky vibes. I'm telling you, it's not good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not good at all. If we'll be on President Tenbrun contest 10 times, it will still be 10 and 0 in favor of Tenbrun. It is God's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Oh, wow, God's doing. Olon Roba Loni did the glory be to him only. Okay, oh. I wondered how a renowned professor like Soinka banks on the satanic declaration of resort made by Anik that possibly placed Peter in third position instead of first. The fact that Soinka is relying on this satanic resort makes it possible for someone to quickly conclude that he has not only betrayed Nigeria but he's also setting it on fire after he must have fought for his safety and peace years ago. My dear, nothing should surprise you at this point. See, like I said, a get the kind of money then go bring can give you. You no go think again. You no go reason. Let's say for instance that you're a young man who has been struggling for a very, very long time. You have responsibilities on your shoulder. Your family is there. You would want to get married. In fact, you have the love of your life already. What is holding you from getting married is that you don't have enough finances. Your family is there and the family wants to create is also there. And then somebody comes bringing one, did I say one? 500, 600, 700. Somebody is coming and is giving you sixty, seventy thousand dollars Ha! <laughs> hey, you get the money where you go see you go lose God. No, 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 no. It will take only your integrity. That is why I'm saying it's very for you to say no. You go close your eyes, open and back. And I go bless it and spray you powder. You go say no. This money. You know go collect them. If you don't talk, say okay. Then if you leave the money with you, you go call them so you may they carry them. Say you know do. You go do with thing you won't do before. You will do what you want to before before the money issue come in. It will take the grace of God raised to power hundred. All yours, all your integrity as a person. It will take it. I'm telling you. And the equally you are the enemy of progress at this juncture. You still take to number as an enemy. You shall see where your be will lead you. Well, the thing is, I don't think people who take Tunubu as the enemy, that's it, that's it, that means they don't know what they do. Tunubu is not the enemy here. To me, at this point, the judiciary, they don't become our enemy. People are supposed to be running for, running to for coverage. Don't come outside. They mock us. <laughs> okay, well, let's see how this goes. Hmm? Let's see how this goes. But right on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I call you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.